You too, you too, what's happening? It's CJ the Detail Guy. It's back with another video update on patience. Um, I got my appointment set for my finalization on the tune. I got about 300, a little over 300 miles on the engine now. She's driving really, really good. Um, so that's Monday, July, I want to say the 14th, 15th. Um, so I got everything squared away here. Um, I finally was able to adjust this door over here. Let me show y'all that right quick. It's going to be a short video, y'all, but just an update video. This passenger door, I was having issues with it before. When I put it on, I had a little, it still had a slight sag to it. So I had to close the door all crazy. And mind you now, like I said, it's all new hinges on the doors. So I shouldn't have been having no issues with it. Um, so I was able to finally get this door squared away. So now it's closing like it's supposed to. Y'all saw that one hand push. She closing like it's supposed to. It's latching like it's supposed to. It's fitting on the car like it's supposed to. Um, I also had to adjust the striker. I had to pull the striker up to his original spot. Um, but what I had to do with the door, like I said, it was sagging, sagging in the back. So I had to adjust this lower hinge out and up. And uh, once I did that, I didn't even have to loosen the top hinge up. That was exactly where it needed to be. Um, the back sides of the hinges, I didn't have to adjust them either. So just that lower down here. I had to loosen the bolts up and bring it out and up. Uh, once I did that, everything worked like it's supposed to. So again, here's the door. And y'all, you know, I put the all the Oldsmobile stuff on there, but here's the door closing like it's supposed to. So we're in the money. So now that I got that done and I have the windows in, my next thing's going to be, once I finish the project I'm working on now, I'm going to go ahead and start throwing all the weather stripping on the door. The uh, little rubber pieces that go here. Um, because all that stuff is adjusted like it's supposed to be. The strikers, everything. Only thing different going to happen is I'm getting a new striker to go on here. Cover this spot here. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to get on that. But besides that, what we got going on with patients, as you can see, the seats and things are gone. The digital gauge is gone. All you see is wires. So what's happening in here right now, y'all? Let me explain this to you quickly. I'm trying to clean up all of these wires so I can loom them and attach them to the back of the dash and go ahead and permanently mount the dash. Um, everything under here now is pretty much finalized except cruise control. I got those wires separated so that if I ever need to go under there and run those wires, they're already set aside where I know what I need to do. Um, far as the lights go, I got that power wire ran. And I also got all my ground, my grounds ran already back here. So that's already done. All my stereo wiring is ran here already. As you can see, all that's already ran into the loom. So all that's good. Everything's ran. My heating. AC harness, all that stuff right here is here um, and just needs to get connected back across to what it needs to be connected to as well as the the control panel when I put that in the dash. So all that stuff, how it's supposed to be, we good to go there. So even over here, let me get on that side because it looks messy right now, but I'm getting ready to finish cleaning it up. Um, but even the harness underneath here i mounted it back and screwed it back in now so now it has all the wires up up in the zone where it's supposed to be still kind of look kind of high but all of this stuff is separated i have if you can see right here these are my digital dash wiring right here so that's going to get loomed separate this is speaker wire that's going to be separate um a lot of this wire is going to my push button start that's back here. 
So that wiring runs across and straight back. Um, here are my gauges for the lights. Um, I have, where is it? My rear defrost right here. As you can see, it's hanging on right there, but it's separated my rear defrost with the light that goes with it. That's separate to itself as well. Um, this wiring that you see here is the wiring for the lights. Um, my and my digital antenna that's up here, but all the wiring for the lights that go towards the back. Let me show you that go towards the back here. That wiring, my defrost wire that goes back through here. All that stuff comes through this comp through this center. Comes to this unit right here. Goes down into the to the uh, fuse box and it mounts right here on the pillar post. Um, I had to go get some um, push lock pins for this to lock that back there. Once I do that, that'll be out the way, loom it up, make it look nice and neat. So all of these wires, like I said, all of these wires here go to my dash. Excuse me, I'm holding the camera crazy. All these wires go to my dash, uh, the digital dash that is. The rest of these wires will be loomed up, neat. They all got their different place where they go, but I'm going to loom them up. Or actually, I'm going to use the, uh, what's that stuff called? This fabric type tape here. And I'm going to wrap them all up. Um, and I'm going to then attach it to the back of, let me show you. My dash here, y'all. So this is the back of my dash. Um, and it's got all these different points where you're supposed to mount. This is the light, so I got the plug for that. Here you have your, uh, this is where your defrost goes, your brake goes right here. Then you got attachments for different places where you can pin and lock your, uh, lock your, um, wire harness to this dash. Um, I still got to take out this cigarette lighter. I got a replacement, but it's not a cigarette lighter. It's the digital gauges to monitor my, my battery and stuff. So I got that hooked up already. Um, yeah, so once I get that in, um, once I get those wires and things cleaned up, because again, I got wires here for lights. This goes to my cutouts. Um, all of this stuff has to be set in this place because I want to put my console in first, then I want to put my dash in. So the wiring has to be set in its location in order to do that. So I'm going to get all that stuff done because it's a, a panel that I want to put uh, in my dash. I mean, in my center console that's going to house the buttons for the lights, the button for the uh, fuel pump, um, the push start button. And when I finally hook up my cruise control, the buttons will be in that center console as well on a plate, a nice plate. So um, all that's going to get done. Um, still dealing with the window situation with the with the uh, harness on this door. But I could pull that out at any time when I replace that harness. Um, so all that, I'm working on that stuff now. Um, but the main thing now is get these wires cleaned up and looking really neat and ready to go in their place. As you can tell, I took this, the, the steering column out, took it all the way out, all the way down to the steering column down there. If you can see, I took it all the way out. That's also another thing I had to do. Um, where did I put it? Let me show you. It's another thing I had to do uh, with my steering column was tape it off where it's supposed to be because the issue I was having when I did my right hand turn signal, I had to ha I had to turn my turn my uh, steering wheel to get my turn signal to engage, which meant it was out of line. So while it was still in the car, and I was trying to set everything, what I did was I set everything properly to where I could just click the turn signal on turn. When I return back to to going straight, it, it the signal automatically pops back in, in the place like it's supposed to on both sides. So when I got that straight, I taped it off to where it doesn't move so that when I put it back in the car, it lines up with the column down below as well. And that also will help me 
with my uh with my if you can see my alignment so i got my wheels completely straight everything straight so once i plug the steering column back in my alignment will be pretty much good but i'm still going to take it to a alignment shop to get it 100 percent all wheel drive i mean all wheel aligned so um let me get to work in here y'all um next time i cut you back on i should have these wires loomed up um, and then I'll walk you through the rest of what we got going on. But this CJ the Detail guy hit you back when I got a little more. You too. We got progress. So I got all the wires the way I want them. Got them set up with the little brackets on it to mount to the back of the uh, dash. All the, each wire set up in its own little section, little harness to make it easy to attach. Um, HVAC, speaker wires lights all the different stuff obd2 um where i can hook that right up to the bottom of the dash lights different things um control panels all that stuff over here on this side um, once i put everything in she's gonna be clear and open like that um the controls for the box for the um push button start the controls for the cutouts um, the controls for the lights that'll be buttons in the center console um, the fuel pump switch the lighter switch that'll be in the, ba the back of the uh, center console so she's coming along everything is in its place um, probably tomorrow I'll start putting the center console in um, I got to get the console in first to really get it where it need to go I got to make a few uh, adjustments to this carpet i mean it's in there like it's supposed to be um but i gotta pull this side back just a little bit get some of the wrinkles out um lay it out a little bit better so i can get some of the wrinkles out of it um but for the most part she in there she in there pretty good let me show you the other side show you the other side all right you see these wrinkles right here i gotta get this out i mean it's where it's supposed to be but I had it pushed forward too much, so uh, this holes, this side, I gotta do different holes on this side right here. Cause you see how this one is a little off? I need to be more up here, more up here. So once I pull these out, I'll be able to scoot the carpet back um, and it'll be a tighter, flusher fit. Um, but like I said, it's coming along. Everything is going in its place where it's supposed to be. So probably tomorrow, I had a center console in, and I had a dash in. So I hit you back when I got some more of that. But like I said, she's coming along. Everything is in its looms. Um, I used this, the fabric tape stuff here. Um, I ain't got no part number or nothing like that, but it's better to use that than the plastic or the PVC tape. Cause that stuff gets all nasty and gooey over time. At least with this stuff, it'll dry out over years and um you can just peel that right off it, it won't be a whole bunch of gooeyness to it um but yeah she's coming along everything working everything plugged in like it's supposed to like i said i gotta make a little adjustment here i gotta slit the carpet just a little bit so i can get that line to slide back some more uh because one of the wires here my neutral safety switch wire right here is not close enough like it needs to be to be connected to my shifter so I got to put a slit in here and pull the wires back just a little bit. But before I do that, I'm going to slide this carpet back first. And that may do the trick. Um, but for the most part, she coming along. She looking good. That's, you know, enough right there for the day. Tonight is hot. So I'm going to go ahead on and um, wrap this one up. I'm going to hit y'all back as soon as I get some more. All right? This is a detail guy. Hit you back when I got some more. YouTube, YouTube. Making a little bit of progress, y'all. I got all the wires cleaned up. I showed y'all that before. I got the console in with all the wires running running through it with the push button start. I still got to put my, or, or screw down my uh, shifter uh, piece here. And then up here, I got to do, uh, clean up some of these wires. And then I got to put the, the dash in and lock up some of the wires on there. But we making progress. The carpet is all in like it's supposed to be. Um, all of the back stuff is done up to that point. Um, once I get this dash and everything else, I, I got the um, 
the side pieces put in for the dash to get started on that. You probably can see that over there. Got those pieces put in um, so I can sit the dash in. I'll probably do that tomorrow. It's real hot. Uh, probably can tell by my voice. I'm a little exhausted. So, um, yeah, so tomorrow when I come in early, I'm going to go ahead and get the, uh, I still got to take it to the dyno. So I figure I put my dash in after I get it back from the dyno. So tomorrow morning, I'm going to throw my column back in, take it to the dyno, let them go ahead and do the dyno stuff. Um, I wanted to get this in, so this will be in. Um, but this is good. Uh, like I said, got my push button uh, where it's going to be. Still got to get the cup holders in. Um, this section right here, I still got to cut it out to do the buttons um the buttons all drilled on the back i just never cut the holes over the top um and then like i said once i get that stuff done um everything else to be done i got the light for the shifter already hooked up so that's working that comes on when i push this push the button probably can see the button see the light came on that's for the shifter so um once I get this in place, it'll be a light, and you'll be able to see the light through and see the shifter, uh, see when you're shifting it, it'll light up that red light. So you'll be able to see that. So um, that's working with the with the uh, key on. So cool on that, got that working. Um, shoot, everything else coming along. All my wires for the lights, I got them down in, inside my console so I can light up my cup holders and my under the seat lights. So I got all that stuff ran, so we good to go. Um, like I said, it's coming along. Um, carpet is in, center console is in. I actually got it bolted down. So it's in there, it's not moving. So I gotta finish that tomorrow and that's, that'll be some of the stuff I got you know, left to do. But I'm just showing y'all process little by little. Um, this part right here kind of frustrated me, so I'm ready to go. It's really just the heat, but when I got some more, y'all know it is. I hit you back. Go. No. The process is real, y'all. The process is real. Got the lights for under the dash, lights for under the seat, on both sides. Radio working. Got the button in. Ran my wires with the relay and the fuse. Everything's hooked up there. It's coming along, y'all. Got a little bit more. Now I gotta put the connectors on each one of these wires so I can unplug them when I pull the seats out on both sides. The dash is cool, like that, that's gonna be hooked up under the dash, so those are good. But everywhere else, I gotta hook these connectors on, split the wire here, I got it coming under the carpet, you can't see it, it's coming out with the uh, power seat, it's coming out, so everything's working out there, so I gotta split those on both sides, um, with these these plugs here put everything in their little looms but everything come along can't really see in there all my wires is tucked in good Let me move this back it's coming along y'all it's coming along of course that's not gonna be like that of course not coming along y'all coming along I gotta add one more button right here for my upper lights for the dash. Um, these under the dash lights come on when I push the button for the, the seats and stuff, just like some objects. You see how bright they are, so it is what it is, y'all. But um, yeah, almost there. Got a little ways to go. I'm gonna get these back seats in. I got the seat belts in on the back already. I got them, them in, locked down to the car, both back seat belts. So I'm gonna get both of them in. I'm gonna get that lower panel put in so I can put the seat belts in over here. And then shoot, we almost in the money, y'all. We almost riding this bad boy, but everything working like it's supposed to. See that? Turn to press the button, press it again for AC. See, I got light down there, LED light. I took the cup holders out or they'll be lit up right now too. But then you got the buttons to turn everything on. Like I said, I got one more button to put right here. And then we in the money. And 
see, we're just gonna stay smooth like that. I was gonna add a few more buttons right here, but I decided not to put those, uh, what you call them, lights. Uh, this stuff like this. Them little command lights with the LED, all that crazy stuff. I decided not to put that in there because I don't want nothing drawing on my battery. And them apps be acting up, so I ain't got time for that. So I just ran straight LEDs on a power switch with a relay and a fuse. I got my wires ran up front here, the uh, ground and my power, so I can hook my uh, battery reader up as well as my upper lights. So once I get those two things done, the center section will be good. Everything is loomed and in its places, and I'm putting it together. I'll meet y'all back when I got some more. YouTube, YouTube. Quick little update, quick little update. All right, so got the dash in there now. Um, I got the power, power button stuff in there. Cut on with the DC power, all that. <clears throat> the voltage meter with the uh, two outlets over it. You can see it. I'm trying to hold it up. That's it. I put my bezel in just for now, just to see you know how it would look. Got the screen in, all the cup, cup holders, push button, everything's in. I got both buttons in now. I can show you that. I don't have a light up top hooked up. I don't got the radio hooked up because I'm gonna probably have to pull the wires from the back a little further out to plug up my radio and to plug up my uh, what's it called? Pull it. Matter of fact, hold on one second. All right, so I got the lights. Let me cut this off. So I got my cup holder lights. All right, I got my lights for my shifter. I got the lights for the floors. I got the ones in the back unplugged right now, but those go under the dash. They're under the dash. They with a push button for that. I got the upper dash light, which that light fell down in there for now, but you can see, you saw it when it came on. I gotta pick that up. That's gonna go right up in this area. Um, but all those lights are on the, the push buttons. They fused in with relays. Fused in with relays. Uh, all this, you know, the push button, all the starting and stuff is working just fine. So everything's in. But like I said, my stereo's not hooked up because when I put the dash in, it slid my wires back some. So I got to figure that out um, so I could plug my radio in. But that's not plugged in for now. But also, I got my uh, gauges on. Let me go to the other side. Maybe you can see it better from over there. One second. Got my charge box hooked hooked up. Keeping some power. Cause I'm low. I've been on this thing all mostly all day. So, but you see it. Got that hooked up. Fused in. Hit the button. Turn it off. It's not gonna be running the whole time. You turn it on when you want. Turn it off when you want. Then you got your 3.0 USB ports in here. Then I got a cigarette lighter, a cigarette lighter in here. And then off of my radio, I got one more USB port, but that's for plugging in um, files for music and stuff like that, or videos to watch on the screen. Um, but shoot, it's coming along. Y'all see it's, it's coming in it's little by little, little by little, but she in there, y'all. And these cup holders, they're going to be running all the time, so I got to figure them jokers out, these cup holders, because they bright. So I'm going to have to figure that out. Um, but, yeah, everything rolling, everything good. So I'm going to hit y'all when I got some more. I'm gone.